KX News, putting North Dakota first. One Burley County road has become such a sore spot for county engineers and truckers that are forced to use it. The county has decided to take out a multi-million dollar loan to permanently address the problem. KX News reporter Robert Sir has the story. I'm here just north of McKenzie along one of North Dakota's many gravel roads. And while this road may look like any other road that you travel on on a daily basis, it's this road in particular that truck drivers tell me is literally shaking their trucks apart. We need something now. You know, you got a lot of trucks running through here. Talk to any trucker who uses 249th Street Northeast and they'll tell you pretty much the same thing. It's like driving on the surface of the moon. The road is littered with deep holes and ruts. So severe, many trucks are forced to swerve nearly off the road or slow down to five miles an hour to deal with the road surface. Truckers I spoke with are fed up with the lack of maintenance and lack of communication from Burley County road crews. I've seen the blade out here four times and it's driving down the road with the blade up. He adds the county doesn't realize how much money the road surface is costing truckers. It tears your trucks up. If you don't have a truck, you don't get paid. And it's, it's a tough situation. There's no reason for it, you know. One trucker I spoke with didn't want his face on camera, but tells me how the road eats trucks up. Broken fenders falling off the trailer of the truck, uh, broken springs on, on the suspensions, uh, busted airbags from the big holes a person has to go through. But there is hope on the bumpy road to progress. Burley County Engineer Marcus Hall tells me plans are underway to rebuild and repave the road with asphalt and concrete this summer. That particular road is unique in the sense that it is heavily industrial used. We don't have hardly any residents out there. And uh, because of the nature of we have large deposits of gravel out in that area, it, it's pretty unique in this area. He adds the road has been an issue for nearly 20 years. They wanted to fix it last year, but couldn't get all of the right of ways in time. Also, the county is so committed to fixing it for good, they've taken out a $7 million loan to pay for it, as opposed to a cheaper, quicker fix. But until shovels go in the ground, truckers will just have to put up with the rough ride for a little while longer. Reporting for KX News, I'm Robert Sir. The county hopes to begin construction, though, in early July. Hopefully it makes a big difference for the people who use it. And we have another road project to tell you about tonight. A one-mile stretch of Highway 2 east of Rugby will be reduced to one lane of head-to-head -head traffic. Speeds are reduced and flaggers may be present, so watch out for them as well. Drivers can expect this closure to be in place until the fall. And keep it here. Still to come on KX News, he is now royalty in the Magic City. And Mr. Magic.